With Romeo and Juliet, you have a play about young people for young people. And the hope of our hour is that it gives them a rip roaring and passionate journey through the minds of young people with a lot to say, where the fault may well be society and not them. I thought it was great, the blood, the special effects. I just didn't know what would happen next. Oh, it was really scary when we went to the witches. That really scared me. So young audiences have always been a really important part of our programme of work at China Play. We make work for all kinds of different people, but young audiences have always been really central for that. I've always been passionate about making sure that we give young people an opportunity to see live performance, to be excited by that, to be engaged by that, because that's how you build audiences of the future. Tell him, Professor. It's the wrong way round. It was good because, you know, like in the cinemas, it's just so boring. You just sit there and watch the movie. But here it's just like you go up, up, down, you get your legs moving. It's like exercise. So this production of Romeo and Juliet is aimed specifically at 9 to 13 year olds. And when you do that, one of the big challenges you face, arguably you could say this is a challenge for any audience, but certainly for that audience, is Shakespeare's language. Now, beautiful, wonderful though that language is, for some young people it can be difficult to understand. And if they don't understand the story, they're not getting the best out of Shakespeare's brilliant play. Now our solution to that problem is to put a narrator centre stage. So previously when we did Macbeth that was the porter but in Romeo and Juliet that is our friar and he speaks to the children in modern English and acts as a kind of bridge between them and Shakespeare's play making sure that, that moment to moment they understand what's going on, they understand who everyone is and what's happening. 